All new at 9, political shockwaves still rumbling down at Houston City Hall after the sudden firing of housing director turned whistleblower Tom McCaslin. So the allegation of ri bid rigging is still very much in play here, and we send Fox 26's political reporter Greg Grugan to dig in. Uh, Madam Secretary, if you please call the road. At Houston City Hall, not a peep, not a word at the weekly meeting of council regarding the elephant in the room. That is Tuesday's sudden firing of housing director Tom McCasland after his very public allegation of bid rigging aimed at Mayor Sylvester Turner. For his part, the mayor claims there's nothing shady about his unilateral decision to leapfrog a $15 million low-income Harvey housing project in Clear Lake ahead of several other projects deemed far more deserving by McCasland. So it's no fraud, it's no illegality, there's nothing wrong here. Turner says City Council District E hasn't received an affordable housing project in six years, and his decision to greenlight the now controversial proposal remedies a lingering inequity. The mayor also downplayed the revelation that his former law partner, Barry Barnes, stands to profit from the Clear Lake deal. There's no, there's no reason why he should excuse himself. There's no reason, there's no conflict. McCaslin's whistleblowing has triggered an investigation by the Texas General Land Office, which has oversight of the Harvey Relief money funding the project. Speaking to Fox 26, District E Councilman and Mayor Pro Tem Dave Martin insists the process was transparent and no wrongdoing will be found. Does it, does it warrant? Bring on the investigation. You can have my text messages, my emails and everything. I know the developer, I talk with him about this project. It's a great project and makes a lot of sense for this area. Uh, this looks bad for the mayor. Rice political analyst Mark Jones says McCaslin's outcry exposed a critical bottom line. That is by choosing the Clear Lake project benefiting his one-time partner, Turner rejected developments that would have delivered four times the number of affordable housing units elsewhere in the city. The reality is that we have a courageous whistleblower who probably decided enough is enough. Uh, during Mayor T Turner's tenure, he's probably had to do some things he's been uncomfortable with. I think in this case, what's clear is that this crossed the line for him, and he was simply unwilling to go any further. Fox 26 has also heard from the city's financial watchdog controller, Chris Brown, who told us this week's revelations underscore an ongoing pattern of concerning procurement practices and a continued lack of transparency at City Hall. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.